What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. In today's video, we are doing a Stinking Spun update for the month of October. So if you're interested in seeing how much we are able to save this month, go ahead and keep on watching. y'all so we're gonna get right into it today we are featuring my fireplace <laughs> i wanted to set the mood uh for this video because i actually have the fireplace on in my home so uh, it's a rainy day here in oklahoma so i decided let's just go ahead and set the vibes here on our channel <laughs> so today we are going to do a seeking funds update for the month of october so we're going to calculate how much we were able to save in our seeking funds this is our first ever sinking funds up, update so i'm so excited and very interested to see how much we were able to save and then hopefully we can double up next month as well so we're just going to jump right into it so here in this first column we have our category column this is the list of the sinking funds that is currently in my binder and so of course since this is our very first sinking funds update the starting amount we all have zeros down the column which would give us the sticking funds starting total as zero. I went ahead and combined all of my sticking funds envelopes into one binder just to save some time. Um, that way we're not switching back and forth. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with calculating and see how much we were able to save in our seeking funds. If you're interested in these envelopes, I got it from Rooted by Nature Etsy shop. I will make sure to list her Etsy shop down in the description box. So for emergency, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So we have 70 in our emergency fund. And then for our savings, we have 20, 30, 40, and 50. So we have $50 in our savings. Okay. And so in our Nyla envelope, we were able to save 20, 30, 40, and 50. So $50 in our Nyla envelope. Okay. And then for our Sky envelope, we have 20, 30, 40, 50 as well. So next on our list is our debt envelope. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25. So 25 in our debt envelope. So for boss up, we have three bucks. I know our boss up envelope took a hit this month just to get set up and get our supplies and everything for the YouTube channel. So um, I'm looking to grow that envelope in the next couple months. Dream home, we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 in dream home. In our dream home envelope, it's just for any decor um, that I may want for our home to make it our dream home. And then eventually this envelope will be our closing cost envelope for our new home. Um, but currently I'm using it for any decor that I may want for this home. In our gifting envelope, we have 
20, 21, and 22. And our gifting envelope. My mom's birthday is actually coming up for on Halloween, which is fun. Um, so I have a gift in mind um, that I'm gonna take from my bank account that I've already accounted for, and then also um, take some out of here. So this will definitely be depleted by the end of this week. <laughs> Self-care, we have 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 13 for our self-care envelope. And this is an envelope for any, like anything pampering as far as like massages, manis, petties, um, anything that I may want, hair done, nails done, whatever. This is the envelope for that. Our next envelope is going to be for Babe. So Babe has five, ten dollars. I just love the sound of the crackle from my fireplace <laughs> and even in real life. So um, that's very soothing and cozy to me. <laughs> in our, let's see, in our Christmas envelope, we were able to save 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. Got a late start on Christmas, um, but that's okay. I know we have less than 60 days until Christmas. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Are y'all ready? Have you guys started your Christmas shopping? Um, I'm looking to start my Christmas shopping next month. Just little here, little there. Um, but I'm very excited. The holidays are definitely creeping up. So, but I just wanna make sure that I am ready. Um, la this time last year, I didn't have anything saved. I used my paycheck around that landed around Christmas to get gifts and stuff. So I'm glad I was able to get maybe two months prepared um, for Christmas. So I am not stressed, which is really, really good. That's the reason why I love the cash envelope system. Just saving a little bit here, the little bit there definitely makes a difference. You're not stressing once those ho once the holidays come around. So. I'm so grateful, grateful, grateful for the envelope system. New car. We have 2025. So we got 25 in new car. I'm hoping to purchase a new car, hopefully the spring of next year. Not really in a rush. Um, since I do work from home, I don't really go anywhere, but I'll I'm so excited. Um, this will definitely be a goal of mine coming up 2022. Fun money. We have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 35 and fun money. Okay. Cart maintenance, we have not funded that this month, which is okay. Travel, we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. So 42 in our travel. And then invest. We do not have anything, which is okay as well. We'll start to invest, put a little bit here and there starting next month. All right, so that is it for this binder. We're gonna put this set aside. Um, next is our fall savings challenge, which I just started last week. I think it's just only $20 in, yeah, $20 in our savings challenge. I'll be able to stuff this up a little bit more coming up next week. So we have 20 for our savings challenge. And then the ones and fives, I'm not gonna count. I'm just gonna wait till the end of 
uh, this year to get the total of how much we were able to save between now and end of this year. So we're not gonna count those. So now that we have the ending amount for each of our sinking funds, we're gonna go ahead and calculate to get our total of the sinking funds ending total. So give me just a second and we'll go ahead and calculate that now. All right guys, so we have our calculator here. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part. I'm going to calculate and add all of the total of our ending amounts and get our grand total here. So we came up with $513 for our sinking funds ending total. All right, so we were able to save $513 in the month of October, which is our first month of doing our sinking funds update. All right, guys, so I went ahead and did the same for this column and the difference, total all this up, and it should equal the same amount that we have for our ending amount since this is our first month of doing the sinkings update. I'm so excited to see how much we were able to save in the month of October and more excited to see how much we're able to save in November. I'm a recovering Amazon addict, so I would always buy stuff here and there, the things that I don't need, um, just because I had extra money. But just to see my funds get added to these different type of envelopes and save for my future makes me so happy. To adopt the cash envelope system, it has definitely put my why in perspective on why I wanted to save for the future um, for my family. So um, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and consider joining the fam just so we're back here adding our totals for November. Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in to my video. And until next time, I see you in the next one. Peace.